morning, Kyle. Good morning. Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. What a nice day for fishing, huh? Yeah, boy. Nailed the weather. We've actually been very fortunate this spring. We've had, May was hot. I mean, we had some 85 degree days. Uh -huh. And then it's been good. Had a little drizzle a couple days ago, but we've had good weather this, this spring and early summer, so. You know, a lot of people back home, when we talk about sturgeon fishing, you know, for them it's like a real fantasy thing to see these big animals come up. So what's the drill? What's the first thing we're gonna do? We're gonna go shad fishing, and shad, uh, it's about a three pound fish. They run in, the, they're, they're in the herring family, mm -hmm. and we use them for bait, we use the whole shad for bait. We'll go up, try to get eight or 10, and then we'll go down and put a whole, whole three pound bait down and see what happens. Yeah. This is a, Ives Island, they call it the shad rack. Anyway, they run in real shallow water. We'll be sitting in eight to 12 feet of water. Is there a limit on them? No, nope, no limit. Do people eat them? Yeah, they do actually. They're a real bony fish. They usually do uh, pressure cook them, can them. Uh -huh. And uh, I've eaten it, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's good fish. I don't eat it typically, but I've, I've eaten it. Basically, it's a real simple setup. Two foot dropper, 30 inch leader. Basically, you're just fishing the lead right on the bottom. So if you the rod goes down, you'll know you got one on. You don't need to set the hook. We're not, it's not bass masters. We just pick up the rod and start reeling and, and don't horse them because if we lose, you lose about every other one, so. There we go, fish on. Perfect size bait too. Oh, first first fish of the day, first, huh? First first bait of the day. Most people can't imagine that you use that for bait. Probably a two and a half pound shad, but that's what we're gonna go after the big surgeon with is a whole bait like this. So need about eight or ten of them, and we'll be uh, ready to roll. You have to keep them alive. No, put them on ice, pack them on ice, and don't let them soak in the water. It makes them mushy. You just put them in a bag and. Pack them right on ice. Right on, Keith. All right, that's one for the good guys. We're in there. We've learned how to catch shad. That's, that's a lot bigger shad there. That's, that's a pretty good size shad there. Now let's go learn how to catch sturgeon. How big do these fish get? Uh, biggest one we've landed this year is a little over 10 foot. <laughs> well, let's go. What I'm doing here is preparing the bait, but when it sits in the water, it'll sit backwards. So these gill plates flare out and it just gives it more drag. It's like a parachute when you get both sides of them doing it. So what I do is I trim these gill plates off just less resistance. You don't have to use as much lead or, everybody's kind of got their own technique on how they rig these, these big baits. I cut the back off so they bleed a little more, put some more scent in the water. And then we're gonna, what I do is run the hook through the back of the head on this cut. You got a good hook exposed there. Then you just half hitch them. And that is it. In the current we got out here, about 32 ounces of lead. So two pounds of lead is what we need to do to put a bait down that side. We're in 74 feet of water. On these big baits, you just let them chew. I mean, when that rod starts going, they'll, it'll start going, it'll start going. You just let it go, let it go. And I mean, it, it, they'll just bury it and line will be peeling off the reel. Oh! How's it going, Keith? It started. Hey Ted, what time is it? What's your watch say? 10.55. 10.55. Time clock's on there, Keith. He hooked it at 53 on my watch. 10.53? <laughs> is that what you say? Yeah, he's been on it. He's been on it about a minute and a half. Okay. Jeez. I time every one of them. <laughs> Still got him? Pressure on. Why? Came off. Keep reeling. Still on. 
Oh boy. They get wrapped up. That's what you just, you think you come off, you just keep reeling. You know, your brother would have had this in by now. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your little brother. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it in Hawaii, but here we got a little saying, if you're resting, he's resting. <laughs> it's lit. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, time, time. Okay, I got <laughs> Clock's still running. We haven't got them turned upside down yet. What time you got there? 14 minutes on it. I'm on my watch. Come on, Keith, you're giving them back the line. No teeth, it's all cartilage. Okay. okay, now you take him. Okay, Pretty docile, aren't they? And how big do you think this guy is? Shug out three, three and a quarter. Uh, how many minutes did it take? Five minutes. You got about probably 17 minutes, okay. which is good. One, twelve, nine foot four. And you rarely lose the sturgeon. I mean, once you hook him, if you keep a tight line. Chef, what's on the menu? Uh, teriyaki pork and rice and beans. Who's the cook? Uh, my wife does, does all the lunches the night before. You know how this goes. When you take your mind off of fishing, that is exactly when the fish will bite. Still got it? I don't think so. I think now you keep reeling. Faster, faster, faster. Offer it's small. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah he's off. Really? Well, if at first you don't succeed, try again. <laughs> and be careful what you wish for. Yeah, big one, huh? This is a big one. I think you got one with a bad attitude. <laughs> you made a bad one, you said that one. You almost went in the water on that one, watch out. Who's got who? He's got me. I don't know, my back is killing me. You know what, you gotta take it. You gotta take it. We need you to take the pole. My bag is killing <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Tuck and run. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't hurt your back. We got another day of this. <laughs> How's that fish, Dan? It's coming. <laughs> Woo!
One tough guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, is this guy beating you too? Go get him, Dan. Oh, now you're getting him. I think you broke his spirit, Dan. Because you need help. He's all yours. <laughs> No more breaks now, you finish this fish. Oh boy, you're going to have to stay after school. So that's why they call this fishing not catching. More on the fishing show right after this. <laughs> 